you're about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers-in-arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. And lest us all beseech the blessings of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. We gotta get- 
Get the wire cleared! Patterson, you're up! Get over here! Private Jones has enough Bangalore to clear a hole in the wire, but he's pinned behind that Belgian gate down the line. Help Jones back to our position. We'll give you cover fire. Wait for my order. Covering fire! Go, go, go! unless you give me cover. Stay behind me and keep shooting. Ready? Stay with me, Patterson. And watch for fire from those bunkers. Jones, let's blow this fence! Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! We've got cover! There's Stephalade on the other side! Everybody, over the seawall! that bunker unless we lose the two machine gun nests guarding it. Patterson, if you can make it across that minefield to the turret, you can use it against those nests up there. We'll cover you. Covering fire!
Das tut gut. Guter Tabak. Deckung suchen! June 6, 1944. 175,000 Allied soldiers breached the walls of Fortress Europe through intense German resistance. By late June, Sherberg had fallen, giving the Allies the port they so desperately needed. By early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field-to-field -field hedgerow fighting unleashed a breakout across France. With the Germans in full retreat, the Allies marched into Paris. Field Marshal Montgomery moved north into Belgium, while General Patton and the Third Army pushed to the Siegfried Line. It was here that the Allies encountered their newest enemy, the lack of sufficient supplies. Patton's plan was to run straight through the teeth of the Siegfried Line directly to Berlin. Monty had devised a daring airborne operation that had the potential of ending the war by Christmas. Having only enough supplies to support one advance, the fate of thousands rested in the hands of the few. With Allied superiority on land, sea and air, what could go wrong?
Good morning, Lieutenant Patterson. It's a pleasure to see you again. You're looking well rested. Good. I'll need you in tip top shape for your new assignment. You've proven to be quite resourceful, especially your performance most recently in scuttling U 4901. All things considered, you're the ideal candidate for this mission. So let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? The success of the Allied invasion of Normandy prompted an assassination attempt on the Fuhrer. A cadre of high ranking Nazi leaders planted a bomb during a meeting. Unfortunately, he survived. He's used this attempt on his life to clean house and solidify his power. Whatever remaining sanity the Nazi leadership possessed has been gutted by Hitler's subsequent arrests and executions. He has appointed new leaders more in tune with his insane ideals. That man is bent on sacrificing every last German citizen rather than accept defeat. We need to stop him cold and do it now. Reports from our allies in France suggest that there's been heavy activity in the port of Lorient, a manufacturing facility for their deadly U-boats. It was previously run by one of the would-be assassins. Now Hitler has one of his most trusted advisors in charge. Jimmy, we need to know what's going on at that base. We've arranged for you to be dropped on the outskirts of St. Mathieu, where our 101st Division is still encountering some resistance. Intelligence states that a German U-boat is making an unscheduled resupply stop at the seaport there. Our only opportunity to infiltrate this fortified shipyard is by smuggling you aboard this vessel and waiting until it reaches its port. I know it's tight quarters, Jimmy, but for you, familiar territory. We're sending you back to sea, my boy.
Mann, ist die Kiste schwer. Was hat ein Schaf da drinne? Das Zeug ist schwer wie Blei. Mach mal die Plane drüber, falls es regnet. Willst du wohl gefördert werden, Kurti? Na gut, dann lass mal das Zeug... Wir haben ihn!
Ein ganz schönen Betrieb. Ja, Herr Sturmgeist. Von unseren Bruder Sicherheitsbestimmungen könnten Sie allerdings noch was lernen. Ja, da haben Sie recht.
By 1940, Hitler's promise of no bombs dropped on German cities was rendered hollow by Allied heavy bombers. This drove home the reality that the Luftwaffe lagged behind the Allies in a number of areas. Field Marshal Goering needed an aircraft capable of shooting down Allied bombers before they had the chance to drop their payload on Germany, and this demand prompted the production of a revolutionary jet fighter different from any other aircraft Germany had produced before. This endeavor was named the Three Times 1000 Project. It called for a heavy fighter capable of flying 1,000 kilometers distance at 1,000 kilometers an hour and with a 1,000 kilogram payload. To achieve this, the Germans turned to a team of brothers with an astonishing new design. Congratulations on your success in France, Lieutenant Patterson. I trust the weather was charming. Unfortunately, we have little time for small talk, as we have a rather difficult assignment for you. Battlefield and politics are two words that should never go together, but unfortunately, Eisenhower, under pressure from both Washington and London, has approved Field Marshal Montgomery's Market Garden operation. It's scheduled to begin in less than a week. We are very dubious of the plan's potential for success. It's an extremely risky one, but it could end the war by Christmas if it succeeds. Time is of the essence, as we received an urgent request from one of our agents in the Dutch underground for an immediate field rendezvous. He had stolen intelligence materials detailing a new German weapons project, but got himself captured in the process. He was able to send us a message just before they nabbed him. He's being held in a Dutch manor house. This, of course, is where we turn to you. We need you to make contact with one of our field operatives in Holland, locate the prisoner, and get him out of there. We need that information, Patterson. It's critical. Only our operative knows how to get you to the manor house where our Dutch agent is being held. The rest, my friend, will be up to you. On a dual mission for both the OSS and Schaefe, you will parachute into the region and quietly meet up with a small unit led by a Corporal Barnes, who you might remember from your days at the country club, but more so, you may have heard rumors about his stellar performance during Operation Overlord. I believe the last time you saw him, he was preparing for demolitions training. He'll be tagging along to investigate rumors of German armor in the area and take advantage of any opportunity that may present itself. If anyone can do this, Jimmy, it's you. I wish you luck. This your first drop, Patterson, or is your aim always as bad as mine? We better see if anyone else is around. Then we'll get you to town. Hey, Jimbo! You wanna give me a hand? Wait! Wait! Jimmy!
job to take out any tanks. You hang with me, you're not covered. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! 82nd Airborne, Private First Class Jerry Langto. Mind if I tag along? I got separated from my moving. squad during a skirmish two miles west of here. You sollten mir nicht ärmer. Das wird so schön bleiben! Jimmy! Commando Upper! Moving, Patterson.
Spawn! Das ist meiner! Launcher.
Okay, Jimmy. Unfortunately, this is where we part ways. We got an invitation to hold up with the Dutch resistance contact not too far from here. You're a good man. You'll do fine.
go anywhere until you clear the area of Germans. I don't want them to see my truck. You know how the Gestapo can be.
sabotage those cars so we can't be followed. so we can't be followed. Painting is the gal I like. Let me show it! 
statue. Remind me to tell you sometime. Das Lied kenne ich auch. Ist mit dem fetten Hintern auf den Boden geknallt? Dass da Marmor gesprungen ist. <lacht> Steig ein, deine Klamotten.
Du bist nicht Friedrich. Die Uniform ist falsch. Du bist keiner von uns.
Er verhält immer gute Reden.
Ja, we zijn klaar. Ik denk dat hij net aangekomen is. Hallo, Lieutenant Patterson. I'm glad you made it. You haven't much time. They're transporting the prisoners tonight. Take whatever supplies you need. Good luck. Thank goodness. I was sure I was finished. Look at me!
Allied infantry always welcome the sight of a Sherman tank. Its combination of speed, firepower and quick repair made it an invaluable ground weapon. The sheer number of Shermans in the field usually allowed Allied generals to count on armored superiority. However, not all the Sherman tank specs were ideal. It was thinly armored and caught fire easily. In addition, its cannon was not large enough to pierce the more heavily armored enemy tanks, a weakness not shared by the German Tiger. Fortunately, evolving teamwork between ground spotters, artillery and the Army Air Force meant no Tiger was impenetrable, thus helping the Shermans rule the day. As usual, Jimmy, I've got good news and bad news. Analysis of the documents you retrieved from the Luftwaffe Detachment 9 supports your conclusion that the Germans have designed a new type of combat aircraft, a jet fighter. Additional intelligence confirms that this new plane has already gone into production at the Gotha facility outside the city of Duisburg, 100 miles inside the German border. The documents hint at plans for a bomber, similar in design, using something they call flying wing technology. Interestingly enough, it appears that early intelligence places a man by the name of Rudolf Ulbricht von Sturmgeist at the helm of this fighter's production. We've discovered he was touring the Lorient shipyard facility at the time of your visit not too long ago. Unfortunately, that's the good news. The bad news is Field Marshal Montgomery's Operation Market Garden has begun in Holland and is fast turning into a disaster. The 101st Airborne has managed to secure its target bridges at Eastwick and Vegel, but the 82nd has been fought to a stalemate near Nijmegen Bridge. Our forces are bogged down outside Arnhem. Germany seems determined to keep us from pushing past the River Waal. Intelligence reports that Hitler has authorized massive reinforcements, placing the defeat of the Allied forces in the Market Garden campaign above the security of Germany itself. A counter-strike from General Field Marshal Modell's forces in the area is imminent. Your assignment is to make your way to the city of Arnhem and meet with an operative who can smuggle you into Emmerich. There, find out what the hell the Germans are up to. All available Allied aircraft have been diverted to support other Market Garden initiatives, so you'll have to make your way to Arnhem on foot. With Monty's plan in a tenuous state, I suggest you get there as quickly as you can. That's all, Lieutenant. Jimmy, we've got good reason to believe Nijmegen Bridge is rigged to blow. And seeing as you've got no choice but to cross her tonight, how about you go ahead and disarm a few of those detonators for your new pal Tarver, huh? Good. I'll take your silence for a yes. Go get it.
niemals berücksichtigt. Das haben Sie noch nicht entschieden. Ach, da bin ich mir noch nicht so sicher. Halt die Klappe. Er ist auf der Reichweite. Er ist auf der
Well, Lieutenant Patterson, glad to have you along. I'm Master Sergeant Kelso. We need to evacuate this area immediately. Along the way, I need to liberate as many of my men as possible.
devised as a joint airborne and ground campaign, Operation Market Garden was the largest airborne operation ever mounted. The planned market was to take and hold a series of roads and bridges across northern Holland, creating a clear path for Garden, an armoured push to the border directly east of Berlin. Unfortunately, the German forces engaged there were not the exhausted troops the Allies faced in France. Crack panzer divisions lay in wait, trained to repel the assault. The Allied invasion was halted outside Nijmegen, effectively cutting off more than 10,000 paratroopers dropped in Arnhem. Surrounded, the Allies battled on for seven days, refusing to yield the north side of Arnhem Bridge to a superior force. Finally, when it was decided Market Garden could not succeed, the Allies fell back. 8,000 would be left behind. The Dutch would not see liberation for another seven months. Exceptional work, Jimmy. It's good to know you made it to the hotel in Emmerich. Just beyond your window is the city's train station, which the German army has commandeered for military purposes. Sturmgeist will be arriving shortly to board his private armored train. Once on board, we're fairly certain he will be heading straight for the secret air base. He's been on an inspection tour of various facilities, and all indications are that he's heading there. You must get on that train, Patterson. This may be our last chance to discover where that prototype fighter is being developed. You'll need to find a disguise and bluff your way past the guards. Intelligence tells us that security at the station is relaxed. You should have no problem getting onto the train, but stay alert and don't let down your guard. We're depending on you. Get on that train and follow Sturmgeist to the secret base. You'll continue your mission from there. I should warn you, Jimmy. The British are sending a squadron of Lancasters to bomb the city tonight, and that station is among the list of targets. If you don't make your way out now, you may not make it out at all. Good luck to you. Hier nicht eine anständige Mahlzeit bekommen. Hier entlang, bitte. Das ist ein sehr gutes Foto von dir. Haben Sie Ihren Ausweis im Zimmer vergessen? Das ist ein sehr gutes Foto von Ihnen.
supplies and production were vital areas of the war in which the Allies dominated. Relentless Allied bombing runs over Ruhr Valley factories resulted in an increasingly crippled German war machine. The methodical strafing of the railroads and rail yards left behind broken trains stalled on destroyed tracks. Without fuel, Germany's heavy weapons were useless. Its vaunted panzers immobilized and its planes grounded. The German infantry was left to carry on the fight alone. If you're receiving this, Patterson, then you are close to your final objective. Clearly, we have underestimated this Sturmgeist fellow. I've been raising hell with intelligence, as our info on him has been poor, to say the least. It is most worrisome. If there are others like him, our work just got a great deal more difficult. We believe you're in the area of a top-secret aircraft manufacturing plant. Operatives tell us it's hidden inside an abandoned mine. We haven't yet been able to pinpoint its location. This is where you come in. Locate and infiltrate the base by any means necessary. Upon achieving this, you must radio us with its exact coordinates. While in the complex, gather as much information as you can on the technologies the Nazis are developing. We are particularly interested in their new jet-propelled fighter called Ho-9. If this aircraft were to enter the war, there's a chance we could lose control of the skies. This would be very bad indeed. So... To help prevent this, Schaefe is preparing to send a bomber group to drop heavy ordnance on the facility. You'll need to move fast and find your way out of there as soon as you've accomplished your mission. We'll await your transmission, Jimmy. But if we don't hear from you by dawn, we'll have no choice but to assume the worst and go ahead with the assault using our best guess as to its location. If past performance is any indication, Jimmy, I expect to hear from you soon. Good luck and Godspeed.
Well done, Jimmy. I couldn't have expected half the results you achieved. So, take some much-needed R&R, but rest assured we'll be calling on you soon. With Germany's battle for Russia going poorly on the Eastern Front and our success on the Western Front, Germany is getting less sure and more dangerous by the day. Hitler is turning to projects that we hope never see the light of day. You'll be part of our continuing efforts, Patterson, so rest for now. We'll be in touch.